welcome this is uh, video 1.1 in the playlist uh, getting started with processing aimed at beginners most of uh, this video as such is aimed at those of you who are interested in learning or just getting started with processing and are new to generative art as such so i go step by step and uh, one important note is that i focus on the python mode or the python binding of processing so i use python to uh, right and show you how we can use it for a generative art. This is a very short video. There's no code at all. Just pay attention because it's very important to know and understand how the canvas coordinates are laid out. First of all, what is the co canvas? Right? The canvas is this white big space with the drawing surface. This is where you will draw, where you will create an image, your generative art of some size, and you will save it. Okay. Therefore, a canvas has an x direction. It starts from the, it goes the horizontal direction, which is that's the x direction, and the y direction, which is the vertical direction. Okay, so a canvas has a coordinate system made of x and y. In processing, we call it the width, and notice that it's written in separate font. So width and height are two variables, special variables we call them, or keywords that are reserved and processing understands that. So you can specify what the width and height of your canvas should be. This is what we typically do when we start, okay? Note that these are in pixels, right? In generative art, our unit is pixels. So how many pixels wide and how many pixels high? And therefore, you could say something like this. You can call the, there's a simple function called size, which just takes the width and the height. So you can say, 1000 comma 800 which means that my width is, I would like an image I'm going to create an image of 1000 pixels wide and 100, 800 pixels high okay all that is easy but this also means that every point in our canvas has one unique coordinate uh, one x y coordinate typically written with bracket x comma y and how, how does this work the x axis increases as you go left to right okay so if you've done any coordinate geometry or analytical geometry in your high school or wherever you've done math, you would have seen this. So this is very typical. X value increases as we go from left to right. But for a computer canvas, this is different. So pay attention. The Y value actually increases as you go down. Okay. This is not how, what you learned in uh, your uh, coordinate geometry class. So by convention, the origin is actually our top left corner, as you're seeing there. So that is zero, zero. And as you keep increasing, increasing, the last pixel, which is which has the highest coordinate, if you will, is in our case 1000 comma 800, which happens to be my bottom right corner. So I marked it there. So now you can think, what should be the coordinate? What is the x y coordinate of my midpoint, right? So let's work this together. And if you know this, you have already learned pretty much everything there is to know about a canvas. The midpoint, uh, let's work it out, right? It's going to be x. My whole width divided by 2, so it will be 500, and my height, or 800 divided by 2, so it should be 500, 400, and that refers to that one particular point. Okay, that's it. So now you know about uh, processing canvas. Uh, I would ask you to uh, continue, don't stop here, go watch 1.2, because you will learn about two very important uh, functions, setup and draw, which is sort of the backbone of how processing works. Hope that was useful and thank you for your time. See you in the next video.